Uh, this is a short video about the new Binance Spot tool. Um, this will add some much needed uh, features to uh, the Binance Spot exchange. Um, first of all, you can check the balance, that's uh, very simple. Uh, we have a stop loss tool. Um, this will let you uh, place orders and have, have the stop loss already in place uh, before getting filled. Uh, you cannot really do this in uh, Binance, the spot version. Um, you have some OCO orders, but they are um, very basic. Um, have an open orders uh, section where you can close um, and cancel all the orders for a pair or all the orders uh, all together. You have a logs uh, section to watch the logs for the different uh, orders and uh, the stop loss tool. And we have some basic uh, charts. Uh, let's just plan our trade. Let's go to ADA on the 4 hour maybe. Let's go to the daily actually. Submit. And let's find interesting spots. Let's say here. So we gained this part and rejected this part. So let's say now we want to um, ladder in some longs because we closed above. Um, let's ladder in from pretty much here and we probably want to hold here. So, 1000 sats down to 850, maybe just up loss uh, just below this part, so 830 maybe. This tool will help you uh, do this with uh, proper risk management, so let's do ADA, we want to risk 2% of the account. Let's let it in from 1000 sets. Down to 8.50. And a stop loss of 8.30. Um, we can do 5 orders. Um, and we can increment each order by 10%. This way the uh, lowest orders will be uh, bigger than the first orders. Let's just click on buy. This will show me uh, the orders it's going to place and the average price and the risk. Um, the total balance is 0 0.05 BTC on this test account and the needed amount to actually execute the order is 0 0.01 risk 2%. Now we can just uh, send this order. It's there. It now uh, also enter the stop loss into the stop loss part of the tool. It's the helper. So this will monitor um, the price and uh, this will actually uh, execute the stop loss with a small delay, which you can uh, you can set the amount of seconds in the config file. Uh, so this is a uh, easy ladder. You can do the same with just two percent risk and do a non ladder. You can just enter at a certain price and enter the stop loss. Buy. And you see that the number of contracts will be less because the entry is higher. The stop loss is, is the same. Okay. Um, let's check out the open orders now. You see all the orders is there. Uh, another way to do this. Let's say that, that uh, we didn't gain this. Um, um, zone in 
Let's see, let me chart again. Submit. Say we uh, hadn't gone this high still, but uh, the moment we gained uh, maybe 13, 40, we want to do this ladder I just did. The way we can do this, we can still do ADA and we can still do 2% risk. We can still do 1000, do 850 and uh, 30 same settings but we can use this option execute with, with condition uh, this way uh, we can set uh, let's say a four hour close above 0 0.00 1340 click on buy Uh, for the sake of these tests, maybe I can do a little bit higher, 1800, um, just to not trigger it. Um, so this way, uh, if I click on buy, it will not uh, actually send the orders to Binance, but it will um, save it in a tool and, and wait for four hour to close above uh, in, yeah, in this uh, example 1840 and then it will trigger uh, the orders so it will not look uh, lock the funds or anything um, if you click on buy go back show saved you will now see that uh, we have um, this tool is monitoring uh, the price and it will execute the order when it comes to this, uh, it's a bit too close above uh, 1840. You also see that um, the helper tool is uh, doing its stuff. Um, another uh, way uh, this can be useful is um, when price is actually uh, losing levels. So let's say, um, let's go back to the charts, ADA. Daily, we can actually do four hour, I think. So let's say that uh, ADA is closing below here or something. Then we want to uh, ladder in some cells uh, from 13.55 to um, 14.85 to take profits because we, we might want to take uh, some more profits on our existing uh, ADA position um, because it's uh, likely it will fail again. So uh, then we can do the same uh, saved uh, orders uh, conditional and we can do, um, let's say we want to sell a thousand ADA um, okay, I missed the, the prices, but let's just say 1300 to 1400. This was not correct, but I missed it. Who got it? So let's say we close for our below 1200. We want to ladder in some cells from 1300 to 1400. Um, uh, if you are not uh, setting a stop loss, which uh, wouldn't make sense for a sell in spot exchange, um, it will only ladder in um, some sell orders. So this way we can wait for a bad close and ladder in uh, the sells um, at the proper spot. Um, of course, if I do this, Sell. You see that we don't have any ADA at the mo moment, but uh, so and the tool will actually tell you. So, but if you had, it would be green, and uh, this order will be valid. So this is just some uh, examples of how you can use the tool. Uh, it's very basic, but also very powerful if you know how to do it. Uh, you can now. 
uh, also go to saved and delete this saved order setup. I can go to open orders and I can cancel them all by doing this. And I can delete the stop loss by clicking there and modify. So now we're back to start. So this is uh, just a uh, quick uh, show uh, of uh, what this tool can do. Uh, I will be adding some more uh, features later, like uh, manually specifying the account size and so. But um, this tool should be very useful. Uh, adding to the features uh, already in Binance, which are very uh, limited at the moment.